what's up guys, AJ with the Indiana Lacrosse Channel here. Today we're talking about passing and catching. So when we're talking about passing and catching, we want to do a couple of things. Okay, first off, if we're throwing with our partner flat, okay, that's not how we want to throw. Really, this isn't the best way for us to at least learn how to catch and throw. We want to be in what we call a triple, tri triple threat position. If I'm throwing past the camera, I'm not flat like this. I'm actually more sideways, right? Uh, my foot's gonna point to where I wanna throw, okay? And I'm not gonna throw across my body. If you watch Andrew Luck or any other quarterback throw, okay, they get that hop in, they throw across their body, okay? You see a pitcher throw, they throw across their body. Same thing with the cross. When we're passing and catching, we wanna throw across our body, right? We wanna get our stick far and away. We don't wanna have T-Rex arms, and what that means is bringing our arms in and doing a more push, a pull-push motion like this. We don't wanna do that, all right? We wanna get our arms far away from our body and, and uh, get a nice little throw in. Boom. Uh, the next thing we wanna do when we're throwing is make sure our, our snap is right. A good way to practice and see if you have good form is to throw one-handed. And now we wanna make sure that we're talking about our, our, our grip. If we were palming the stick, right, meaning that we can't get a finger in our palm, that's bad. Right, we wanna keep the stick in our fingertips and be able to snap our wrist just like this, okay? If you can fit a finger in here, you're good. Now, when we talk about catching, the most important thing is keeping your eye on the ball all the way from when it leaves their stick to when it enters yours, all right? Make sure that you are watching that ball all the way through your stick. Boom, okay? Watch it, boom. Right? And you'll never get one of those times when you're about to catch it and it clicks off the top of your stick. That happens when you take your eye off the ball. So make sure you watch that all the way into your stick. So the other thing is that when you are catching the ball, you wanna pretend like it's an egg. And a way that we can help do that is by catching across our body, okay? If I'm squared up with Josh, or if I'm, if I'm lined up the right way and I'm gonna throw, okay? I'm actually gonna have my stick out, and as he catches it, I'm bringing it across my body, right? That's one way we can learn to have better uh, to have softer hands is if we can do that because instead of catching it like this, this is what not to do. If you have it here and you bring your stick back, you're pumping up this top hand to getting hit or being checked. But if we are catching it across our body, okay, it allows us, our body twists, and look, I'm naturally protecting my stick, right, with my body. Have those nice soft hands, bring it in, okay? Don't be afraid to use your, your toes and go up and down, okay? We don't want to catch the ball like this, okay? We don't, we're not catching it sideways, okay? We wanna make sure we keep our stick nice and vertical, having soft hands and catching it, watching that ball in, and if you want to, you can kiss it goodnight. Those are some keys to passing and catching. If you guys wanna get better at the game, if you wanna see the field, it's absolutely essential to make sure you're passing and catching. A great way to learn passing and catching is by doing wall ball. If you are scared that you're gonna break something or your parents won't let you, use a tennis ball. It's gonna help you anyways with having softer hands. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit like. If you wanna see more, please subscribe. Share this video to a friend that you know needs to work on their passing and catching. And guys, make sure whatever you do with your right hand, you do with your left hand and vice versa. My name is AJ with the Indiana Lacrosse Channel and my goal is to grow the game of lacrosse in Indiana. And I can't do it without your help. So until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Yeah. Oh yeah, did you see that snag? Did you see that snag?